opinion about how she lives her life and how she depends on a man for financial support and relief. In case you haven't seen the interview, here it is. Ghana, it's like our economy is just such in a way that you just need someone to take care of you. It, why? Because you can't person, make enough money? You can't make enough money as a woman here. As a woman here. Like, because even when you want to get an apartment, in Ghana you pay two years in advance. Wow. And I just started working. Where will I get money to pay for an apartment for two years? Are you basically telling me that you're having sex with this guy because essentially to pay your rent? Because he can afford to take care of you. But he takes care of me, my financial stuff, my apartment, my car, my rent, everything. And, and, and Christiana, the same for you? Well, I'm not dating a married woman. So you're dating a single man yes. who nonetheless can take care of you. And what does he ask of you for that? What do you have to do for him? Like to have time for him, make sure you give him good food and then when he wants to have fun, you make sure you're ready. What does your man expect of you? He me to be loyal and just to date him only and give him sex when he wants. Yeah. And what if you said no one day? He turns up at your house and you got a headache. What does he say? You can't say no. You have to give him what he wants. And what if you don't want it that day? That means he's going to, he's going to think you're cheating on him. Holy cow. Yes, he's going to think I cheat on And does your man have more mistresses? Yes. So let's bring this discussion down. I was talking to a few ladies earlier today, and this is what they had to say. So what do you make of this? Well, it's baseless. You can't tell me you are dating a married man just because of this economical something, something. Well, fine. This man can sponsor you. But the point is, what if it is your husband? How are you going to feel if you see your husband cheating with you with some lady just because the lady can't take care of herself? So I think what she's saying, she just go get something to do, sit her ass down and then work something out and stop this marriage, my married man, something. It's so annoying. That's what I think. Thank you. All right, let's come to you. Okay, I think... Basically, she, she's getting one shenet. And then if I were to be in her shoes, I, I know very well he is a married man. So he's not taking me anywhere or I'm not going anywhere with him. So for sponsorship, fine. But then later on, I will just move on with my life when I'm done getting what I want. That's my point. But then is this not a reality? Is this not something that happens every day? And she's only being judged because it was on CNN and it was shown to the world. Um, yeah, it happens every day. Yeah. But the bottom line is this is a married man we are talking about. Are, are you going to be cool if the same thing is done to you? The fact that he provides for you, that's everything. You said you can't make enough money as, that's the statement, you can't make enough money as a woman. Where did she get that idea from in the first place? What makes her think that as a lady you can't make enough money? And how much do you even need as a lady to survive so that you will go in for a married man in question? So does the married man not know that he's married? He's the, he's the one who, did, who made the vows. Yes. He knows he's married, but let's say, you see sometimes we ladies, we, we attract the men, we tempt them. So you have the, the, this thing, the how will I say it? To say that you have the, the, say, uh, the say in this question, okay. to say yes or no. Once you know he's married, don't say, okay, you've been entered before you realize he's married. My dear, go out. Uh -huh. What are you doing there? Married man. You are putting what uh, God has put together, you are putting it asunder. That's what the Bible has said for me. But I think the man is at fault. Okay, let's, let's come here. Uh -huh. um, what, what Moesha is saying is, is just business. It's, it's very, very business. The fact that you, you need something to survive with doesn't mean you should go and date a married man. No, never, never. Like, there are a whole lot of jobs out there. Who, who said there's no job? There are jobs out there. Maybe she wants a job that will pay her more than... I don't know, but Moesha, you want a job that pays more. Is your qualification up to that job that will pay you more? Mm -hmm. That is the question I want to ask you. If your qualification is there, women are working, they're having 5,000, they are paying their 5,000 a month, 6,000 a month. Is your qualification there? If your quali qualification is there, then cool. They will pay you, you can, like, Pay your, rent. pay your rent and everything, you can be okay. But what you are saying is just basically, what if it is your husband? Will you be happy about this? Okay, so my question, if the man was not married, would it be better? Well, I think it doesn't make it any better because you are not married to him. 
and is he going to marry you? Why don't you find your own man? Uh -huh. If he's not married, I don't think he makes anything better. She says she can't make enough money as a romantic. Who told her that? I mean, there are independent women out there who are working, making good money, and even some are even supporting some young men. I mean, who, who told her that women can't make good money? She should just drop that um, ideology and then get work to do. I mean, it's baseless. Everything is baseless. So I want to know, what's the problem? What What's so wrong about this, this video that came out? Okay, what? About what she's saying. About what she said, saying that the ideology she brought, that she can't sit down and make enough money to cater for herself. It's wrong. No one just stood up and just make billions. Everybody started from a scratch. I think everybody who is so rich now was once a hustler. So if she, she, she's just looking at herself, yeah, I'm so big, my ass is big. People are seeing me as a uh, celebrity and those stuff. I've got big ass, I've got big boobs, my body either. So that's what is stopping her from trying to say I, I can't work. She can do that. She can work. If really she wants to work and cater for herself, she should be um, a career woman. She should be someone she will be able to cater for her own self, not depending on someone. Even the Bible said, don't even depend on your fellow um, colleague. How much more depending on a man who is not going to take you somewhere? The man is married. At this point, the man is married. And even if it's your boyfriend, you can't be depending on your boyfriend 24 7. The boy will be, will be fed and be like, ah, why? I don't know. I mean, whoa, whoa, that stuff. So that's what I think. Okay, so I want to know, um, it says that men are supposed to take care of their wives or their girlfriends. I don't, I, honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. She's having a relationship with someone and the man is doing her job, his job, do you understand? And she's doing her job. So what is so wrong about it? Who even brought up the idea that the man is supposed to take care of their girlfriend? Is it not in the Bible? Yeah. It's in the Bible, they're supposed to, but is it now like uh, something that every man, if the person is not even working and you're in a relationship with, he has to provide for you? But is it not the Bible? We like to follow the Bible with all the rules, right? Okay. So now we mustn't just take it out because you want to answer. Yeah, okay. We are now in the um, technology world okay. that everybody wants to work. Yeah. That's the point. As far as a, a woman is supposed to be a housewife, she don't have the right to go somewhere. Even You don't even need to go to school. Yeah. That was what was then. Yeah. So right now we are in the technology world. So every woman wants to say, hey, I need to help my husband. Yeah. So right now, if my husband fall, I can really raise my hand and support my husband. That is why it's nowadays everybody needs to work. But according to the Bible, a man is supposed to take care of a woman. But nowadays, it's like, hand go, hand come. I help you help. Mm -hmm. So that is the point. I think uh, something is wrong about what she said. Okay, let me... Interesting views there. So Moesha is trending on Twitter. Let's take some of those tweets. Uh, the first one is at Israel Lai, who says this suggestion by actress Moesha in this interview with her TNN's Christina Mpa that women in Ghana cannot survive unless they depend on a male sponsor appears to have caused quite an outrage. Her followers on IG have been particularly harsh. Hashtag holy cow. Okay, so that's the hashtag. Uh, let's see if we can get more tweets. And this one is at uh, Amer Gatgreen. Okay, F. Odella, who says, Aish, Moesha, man, I wouldn't have uh, complained if I had a sugar mama who wanted to sleep with me to help me pay my first two years advance rent in Accra. I still remember the pain I went through emptying my account. Uh, that tweet got 71 retweets and 170, 167 likes. And he continues, okay. So that was a thread. And this one says, at Fatima Derby, who says, I really hope this Moesha interview won't end at a self-righteous rant, but make us have honest conversations about how hard it is for women to get a job, promotion, pay raise on merits, and also truthfully engage the statistics on how women have higher poverty and unemployment rates. So that tweet got 212 retweets and 249 likes. Uh, and Fatima comes back to say that people are doing fraud, scamming others, selling kidneys, doing harmful jobs. But because we want to slut shame, Moesha, our economy is good. Let's maintain this same energy next time fuel prices go up and things get harder. Thank you. And at Kwame Men's was replying to at Fatima Derby, but we'll go to at Royal Solo, who says... Mention 20 successful females in Ghana who've made it without being sexualized and I'll leave you to criticize Moesha. The same guys who would use money and cars to lure multiple women are the same ones coming here to shout hard working. And so those are some of your tweets there. Let's go to at Amaya who says, 
Uh, Moisha reveals, okay, so this is, okay, how she sleeps with a married man to take care of her needs. Uh, and more interesting tweets. Let's try to get more interesting tweets on that. 217 retweets, 341 likes. And replying to Amaya who says, this girl just gave all curvy and uh, uh, big ass girls and all Ghanaian women a very, very bad reputation. How the hell does she reason? And at Raj Boateng says, she's being honest and that's what some females do. At Coffee Wolf says, you are broke girl, won't you look for apartment you can afford? And at D uh, Queen says, exactly, I can't afford even an iPhone 5, so I'm still using my old Android. Uh, live according to your means. It's that simple. At Stephen Quick, who says, sweetie, I would like to dash you iPhone 6 if you accept. No. And at D Quan says, that would be very kind of you. And then, okay, so those are some of the retweets and the comments on that tweet. Let's go to Edmund, who says, to be fair, the economy Moesha was talking about to defend her choices is what also pushed boys into doing 419. Mobile money frauds and tonneton scams. There are hardworking men and women everywhere in Ghana, but let's not pretend like what she said isn't happening. So.